Hi, uh, my name is Leslie Bull. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Um, my question is, um, our last guest here, Bruce Cohen, mentioned when speaking about LGBTQ rights that the fight is never over and um, used the civil rights movement as an example. And I was just curious to hear your thoughts on the statement that the fight is never over and what you think the main area in civil rights we should be fighting for today is. I hope he wasn't saying the fight will never be over because I believe the fight one day will be over. The fight for black rights is not over. The fight for LBGT rights is not over. These fights are ongoing. And while progress has been made in each of these two disparate fields of, of endeavor, uh, gains have been made, victories have been won. This is not the same country today for anybody in either of these groups today as it was, say, 20, 30, 40 years ago. So change is, has been made and change is being made almost daily. Um, but the day is going to come, I believe, that we'll say, wow, we've put all that behind us. And we've made so many victories that there's very little to worry about now. The ongoing battles in the, struck, the search for civil rights, uh, I think one thing that we've not paid as much attention to as we ought to, and this is just one of many, is the problem of segregated housing. If you look around the United States, it's still a matter of fact, despite a recent uh, report by a right-wing group in uh, New York City, that racial segregation and housing had almost disappeared. First of all, it's not true. Secondly, it's pervasive. And thirdly, it just harms people of color so dangerously, and I'm just amazed that we've not done more about it. If you live in a segregated se system of the city, you're, and you're black, you're separated from the best schools, the best houses, the best opportunities, and the chances of you achieving those things are diminished because of where you live. So to the degree that we're able to stop this physical segregation of people, that's the degree to which they're able to have access to these opportunities and their condition improves. That's something we need to work on.